Welcome back to Development Dynamics with Maxi. This time we are hosting Karen Wakoli. And we have just, uh, you've just experienced quite a bit. Now you're in many positions, many board positions especially. And I was just asking, um, what threads are coming together at this point, you know, in all of these um, governance roles? Mm -hmm. Are you are you connecting dots? Oh yes. Uh, for youth leadership, for yeah. youth gaps, youth and women, youth <clears throat> and women, youth and women. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would find myself serving on a board, mm -hmm. and either I would be the only young person, or among the very few women in mm -hmm. the room. Mm -hmm. And again, so I started asking the question: mm. Where are the women in mm -hmm. the boardrooms? Mm. Where are young people in boardrooms? Mm -hmm. I think I came to the realization that not everybody had the chance to have people around them, like Dr. Manguyu, who mentored me, mm. to mentor them. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm bold enough to actually reach out to somebody and say, I would like for you to mentor me in this and that. Mm. I would like to grow in this and that. Mm. I realized that a number of young people are afraid to do that. Mm. Either confidence, self-esteem, or something like mm. that. Mm. And some of the challenges I had mm. myself, like issues around confidence, mm -hmm. self-esteem, and mm. you know, believing in myself. Mm. The guy and, who was coming to Nairobi. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I discover many young people, mm. I like regardless that. of whether they grew up in the cities or villages, mm. experience that right. depending on the upbringing, whether mm. they were affirmed by parents mm. or not, regardless of gender. the different challenges they've gone through in life mm. that mm. have sh ended up shaping who they become. Mm. So confidence is such a big thing for young it people. Is, yeah. Getting to know self. Mm. I remember, an, uh, was it 2007? Mm -hmm. Two of my friends um, and I came together to start an organization mm -hmm. to talk about issues of peace and reconciliation in Kenya, but mm -hmm. looking at the role young people played in in the 2007 violence after elections. Mm -hmm. um, that was George Gashara uh -huh. and Boniface Mwangi. Right. The organization was called Pichamtani. Mm -hmm. And I remember one time, Boni and Gashara pulling me aside and saying, Karen, we have noticed something and we want to confront you on it. And I said, what is it? And they said, how possible is it that you are comfortable addressing thousands of people and you are very confident? Because then I had just um, represented young people in 2008 at the launch of Vision 2030. And mm. during the launch, there were many um, individuals, politicians, heads of states and uh, diplomatic corps and you know. Mm, mm. And so they said how possible is it that you can you're so comfortable and confident addressing thousands of people mm. but then when we are in a room like with donors or small groups of people, mm. you just speak once and you keep quiet and the rest of us keep rumbling on and on and on. Mm. And I said I only speak when I have something to say. And they said no, no, no. Mm always have something to say so always speak mm. how mm. else will people know mm. <laughs> you're brilliant mm. so and, and and they say speak speak mm. with with force like be mm. you know like have the oomph mm. and so i remember one time we went to this meeting where there were a number of young people and other actors mm. and i asked for an opportunity to speak and each and every person who had spoken before me mm. all of them men mm were very forceful in mm. their speech. Mm. So even me, I took the microphone mm. and I spoke so forcefully mm. and guys clapped and I sat down. Then later I went home and I just took a moment to reflect. Mm. How did I do? Mm. Oh, I, I felt so bad because mm. that wasn't me. Mm. And I wasn't understanding. And I don't think the three of us knew that there's something called personality types and people are different and that in your difference you're okay yeah you don't have to be loud yeah. to have an impact yeah and i then started trying to really interrogate why am i different why am i quiet and laid back and, and all that mm. but how come i can go and address people on on a podium mm. thousands of people and and, and i'm good mm. but having those random mm. conversations mm you know, mm -hmm. uh, is a, a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. And what and did I, you nail it down to? I am introverted. Mm -hmm. 
I am introverted. Mm. And there are many, there's an amazing book mm. that Bonnie actually gave me to read. It's mm -hmm. called Quiet, mm. The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't mm. Stop Talking mm -hmm. by Susan Cain. Mm. That book was so liberating to me. Mm. I discovered I don't have mm. to be out there making noise and, mm. and speaking forcefully and shouting, but mm. I can be me mm. and be comfortable in my skin. Mm. That is my personality type. And mm. yes, I can mm. still make a difference mm. in that. Other people mm. could be extroverts and yes, they shine in that, mm. but introverts mm. too mm. can shine in whatever trade they choose mm. to, to, mm. to trade in. It's, it's amazing that you almost skipped that story of, of you, George, and Bonnie working together, and uh -huh. yet it's very significant. <laughs> and and, and yeah. before you even move further, Bonnie's greatest strength, one of Bonnie's greatest strength is that he, he, he almost works, he almost identifies uh, people's areas of need and gifts people books to go and, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> and stuck you from your area yeah. through a book. He's done that to me, he's oh. done that to my wife. He's like, he's he's just an amazing person in yeah. that way. So big up to Bonnie for, oh, yes. for, 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 for oh, yeah, stacking yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Karen yes. in this regard with the, the book Quiet. Yeah. I know you've done that and you've been picked up by many other people with, um, on, I mean, I think he's done that to a lot mm. of people. So, but I want to hear about that particular part um, mm -hmm. because I think you, you, you'd you moved forward quite a bit. Yeah. Let's go back to that part. <laughs> yes. So you, George, and Bonnie, and Bonnie. came together yes. in 2007. Mm. Uh, this is slightly post the... The election. The el 2008. Uh, 2007. 2007. So 2007. shortly after the elections and there was violence. Yeah. And we said, no, no, no. Young people played uh, such a key part, a central role in, in the violence. Mm -hmm. Many of them were killed, mm. but then the perpetrators, many of them were also young people. And so we said, let's interrogate this and have conversations with young people and find out what happened. How come we played the role we played in the nation in the violence? Mm. And it was so sad to hear certain young people in certain regions saying the elders called us and told us to defend our community, mm. defend our land, defend this mm. and that. Mm. I regret killing my mm. neighbor. I regret doing this and that. Mm. I was raped. Mm. I was, you know, so, so, ha, ha, victims and, and perpetrators. Mm. Most of them, mm. unfortunately, mm. were young women mm. and young men. Mm. So did you, so this story, uh, so how, how did you, when you say you came together, how did you, and start listening to these stories, like, did you go, um, you had the, how exactly? I, I want to hear mm -hmm. the, okay. the, the, the the story of doing that together. Okay. Because I remember at that time you were probably, what were you? You were a student? No, mm. I had cleared school. You had cleared yes. school? Yes, yes. Uh, Bonnie was In doing Bonnie the, things yeah. at Standard, maybe. And Gashara was also doing Gashara things yeah, and, somewhere. Yeah, and George Gashara was... You know, doing yeah. the Gasha, he hadn't gone to Heva at the time. No, no. It was way before he had. Way before. Way before he. Yeah. So all three of you are young at yeah. the time. Yeah. Um, so you are just friends. Yes, friends. Yeah. Come together. And Bonnie, I think, had worked in a, in a media house where he had taken the photos and the footage yeah. um, of the post-election violence. Yes, yes, yes. And so we used those photos, blew them up, and then... Uh, produce documentaries yeah. and we would then move from one city to another, Nairobi, Kericho, yeah. wherever, yeah. Um, Mombasa, yeah. to then have like street exhibitions, right. have the members of the public, especially young people come yeah. and then would have conversations and yeah. part of the conversations would then entail counseling mm -hmm. for the victims mm. and even for some of the perpetrators who are haunted by whatever they did. Mm. Um, and we're just having like a dialogue, mm. dialogue forums and sessions mm. to converse amongst ourselves and then see, mm. so what is the way forward? Mm. How do we uh, become more responsible citizens mm. um, and not cause chaos or mm. violence and, mm. and maim our, our fellow citizens? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Very good to hear your story in that in that context and the sort of like role you mm. you've played um, you've played there. Um, so we then fast track to now where you are and where we were, we were, we were, yes, we were, we were bookmarking. Yes, we, yes, we were threading. So see, um, my friends then, through my friends, I get to discover personality types, yeah. self-aware. Because mm -hmm. then 
I just realized I wasn't self-aware. But sure. then I tried to be somebody who mm -hmm. I am not. Yeah. And many young people struggle with that. Not just young people, by the mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Even adults yeah. Yeah. struggle with self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And so that's why oh, self-awareness is so critical mm -hmm. for every human being and especially for mm -hmm. every leader. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. to be self-aware. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Um, so some of the threads were, of course, the need for empowerment mm -hmm. of young people. Mm -hmm. I traveled across the continent and across the world in, in various fora, interacted with leaders, mm -hmm. with young people. Mm -hmm. And I, I met certain situations that uh, really made me question a number of things. Mm -hmm. One of those meetings, I can't remember the year, but I was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I saw a 16-year-old boy. Mm -hmm in a political party, mm. articulating issues of young people. He was, um, he was a leader of the party, a member of the Youth League, articulating issues of young people and talking about the policies they had made, talking about the budgets and accounting for the money and asking for, for more money for them to do civic education for young people. And mm. I said, wow. 16 year old mm. yet in Kenya and in many of the African other African countries people start engaging actively in politics maybe at 40 or, or something many mm. young people are mm. so aloof and apathetic when mm. it comes to to politics yet politics actually affects our everyday life mm. another moment that um, made me question um, engagement of young people mm. was in Norway mm. this must have been in 2009 mm. again it was in a political space. A mm -hmm. um, 17 year old lady was the, the president of the Youth League and she was again articulating issues. They had power um, and they had a great relationship with the mother party. And for us, um, I was part of uh, um, a, a different political um, space and engagement. And I, I, was, I was asking the question, where are young Kenyans in high school I, I don't think people ever engage politically other mm. than when mm. electing the, the, the prefects. Yeah. <laughs> in primary school, the same thing. And maybe mm. that's why mm. it's problematic around election time that mm. um, IEBC is looking for young people to, to register, register as voters. Vote. Yeah. And young people are like, no, mm. I'm not political. Not I won't bread, register. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't care about politics. Mm. Yet politics shape whether we go to school, the schools we go to, the life we live, whether we feed or not, whether... Like, it, it shapes every aspect of our lives. Mm. So that is a question of awareness. Mm. Question of agency, I think, also cuts across. Mm. Um, I, I got to discover most of the challenges young people face across the continent are actually cross-cutting. In Kenya, South Africa, Botswana, Nigeria, Ghana, Uganda, Tanzania, issues around employment, issues around meaningful youth engagement in the political space, in the economic space, social cultural space, perceptions of young people is also a big challenge because I realize that many people in society view young people as rowdy, confused, you know, and yes, that might be part of what a majority of young people are, but, but no, they're not always rowdy. They also just uh, require somebody or people to believe in them, give them some skills, give them an opportunity, and they will thrive. I think we have also, as a society, just put young people at a place where we think or we believe they just need handouts and they will be shepherded to go do whatever it is um, they are called upon to do. But no, young people need to be engaged in a more meaningful way from generation to generation. It matters because they are the future. They are the present and they are the future. Mm. Many of the crops of leaders we have won't be there, let's say, in 2030. But these children and young people of today will be there. So do we have mechanisms where we pass on the leadership baton, where we pass on the values uh, and tell young people and children that, you know what, if you work hard, if you focus, you will actually be successful. I think we've gotten to a time when people just imagine, you know what, all I want is I want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. I want to be like that politician, you know and I don't need to work hard. I can be corrupt, but for as long as I'm not caught, it's not problematic. You remember that report mm. by the Aga Khan Foundation? Mm -hmm. That is problematic. Yeah. But yet I've also seen situations that when young people are empowered, when they are shown the right way, when they are supported, when they are coached, when they are hard held, mm. oh, they do mm. amazing things. Mm. Wonders, yeah. wonders. Oh, wonderful. And so nice that those dots begin 
coming together for you. Yeah. So what do you do with with, with all of that? <laughs> wow. 